How's everybody doing tonight? How about a big round of applause for all of these amazing artists? <laughs> oh, I hope my work can stand up. Everybody relax a little bit to some palm wine. So by a show of hands, how many of you are familiar with the uh, West African country of Sierra Leone? Typically, Sierra Leone, the, uh, the image a lot of people have in their head is one really destructive war. Went through an incredible civil war for about 10 years. And over the last 10 years, they've been going through a recovery process. So my, my work, I spent a few months there recently working on a photo documentary, traveling through a variety of villages and, and regions. And so the, the names at the top are, uh, are typically of villages and, and regions of, of the country itself. A lot of it, this, this journey was a, a personal exploration and uh, uh, just, just finding myself and, and going through drastic changes in, in my own life, in my personal life. I was drawn to Sierra Leone specifically. Uh, never having heard of it, I had a, a very distinctive dream about 15 years ago. And I was shown a map, spelled out Sierra Leone. I woke up that morning and looked, looked up in the atlas and saw Sierra Leone there. It resonated with me. And over the years, I, I learned what I could about the country. I came to find through the experience, after being very nervous going there, it was it was a stunning place. Stunningly beautiful. People were very gentle souls. Um, they're they're doing their best to recover, uh, to develop a uh, a sustainable environment, uh, sustainable in the way they redevelop their structures, sustainable in a sense of their an environmental approach, health, education, and so my my work there was um, working with a, a, a few different nonprofits and NGOs. So at the moment, I'm working on a book of my, my images and excerpts from memoirs that I'm writing of, of this particular journey and wanting to bring awareness and attention to these, these different nonprofit organizations. They're doing amazing work. Um, in conjunction with that, I, I discovered a, uh, a business partner from Amsterdam while I was there. We're in the process of developing our own nonprofit organization uh, to, to bring awareness of uh, organizations that promote sustainable development, uh, environmental conservation, uh, education, and healthcare reform throughout the world. So, uh, the name of, of that program is going to be called the ECA Sustainable Vision Project, ECA standing for Environment, Culture, and Adventure. So all of my photography work will be uh, in involving each of those. So I'll talk a little bit about some of the photographs. Uh, you see here this uh, <coughs> this white substance that we're drinking. That's that's called palm wine. That's where the the name of the music comes from. It's a a naturally fermented drink that comes directly out of the uh, the palm trees. A little bit alcoholic, and just nice and mellow and relaxing. It comes out similar to uh, to uh, maple sugar water. Um, in in each region, uh, I, I found um, I found a little different atmosphere within, within the uh, the community of uh, and just amazing amazing wildlife. Well, and yes, monkeys are kept as pets. So in the projects that I'm, I'm developing and, and the books that, that I create, I want to donate at least 10% of the, uh, the net profits to each organization that I, that I work with. And I'll be returning to Sierra Leone to continue on this project. And 
this is the uh, it's just the the beginning of a, a larger project where the theme is looking at several different countries in the recovery process from their their experience of war so looking at at their process uh, over the course of uh, you know, various decades as a photographer, I find moments moments like this, these are my favorite images from my time there, where canoeing out in a lagoon with, with a local named Pisa Bangura, just seeing the textures out in the water. Photography has given me the opportunity to to see the world, see all the, the various textures, see the people, see a greater depth of, of how the world functions. Um, you know, the amazing, amazing color, um, feel, and atmosphere of, of a place. And you know, traveling itself, it, it awakens us to, to new perspectives, and this trip certainly did for me. As a skier, I, I don't have much background in surfing, but I had a little opportunity to, to spend time with, with these guys surfing. and. Uh, I'll be returning to work on a, uh, a surf film documentary with my business partner up in the right-hand corner, heading back in the spring to work with a uh, with a surf club, uh, some beach boys who are trying to generate funding for their own program and offer surf education. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to visit me out in the uh, in the lobby. I have some business cards. That's the name of my book. It'll be available in the spring and. Uh, I hope I hope each of you, uh, if you're interested, will buy a copy and help me keep going. <laughs>